Today's video is going to be another video from my Monster Showcase series, and today we're going to talk about golems. I'm going to tell you who the top three are and how to build them. If you like my videos and like my content, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. Alright, so today we're going to talk about this golem. Golems are one of my favorite three-star monsters in this game. I have two of them built just because they were so easy to build. They were all very close in the ranking for me, but the best golem in my opinion is Wind Golem, aka Rejian. His third skill gives him a level 3 defense buff and immunity. His second skill is an AoE provoke, but what makes Wind Golem so good is when he gets below 50% health, he gives gives himself a level 3 continuous heal over time. If it was a level 1, I'd probably put him like 2nd or even 3rd. But because it's a level 3, he definitely gets the best top vote for me for Golems. His main stat in slot 246, definitely defense. He has immunity, so you don't have to worry about getting broken. 2nd main stat to prioritize is evasion. 3rd is accuracy. 4th is HP. You want that provoked to land. Also, when I talk about supports and tanks in this game, I'm not going to tell you accuracy actual sets to use because as long as you get all the overall stats that's what matters the most prioritize these four stats that i always give you with whatever rune sets you use and you will be successful with that monster the second golem on my list is fire golem kugo now kugo is interesting he doesn't have a defense buff and immunity like some of the other golems he does have the provoke on the second skill his third skill applies a berm and does damage based off his defense so if you want a little bit more damage and you're running with a damage over time team then kugo is really good for that however the biggest thing about him is his passive kugo has a 35 percent chance to become skilled damage immune the invincibility lasts for like three to four seconds it doesn't say it on the skill info but i have him built and when it procs he becomes invincible and if you have 100 percent evasion on him too he is really hard to take down get a heal in the back and you're set the statue prior is the same as wind golem defense slot 246 second stat is evasion third stat accuracy fourth stat hp and the third and final golem that i put on my list is light golem aka grago grago's third skill has defense up and immunity which is good second skill aoe provoke and his passive damage taken cannot exceed a certain ratio of his max hp which is 25 percent so anytime he takes damage from a skill or even if it's basic attack if it can do that much damage but it will not do more than 25 percent of his max hp so if it's a single target hit only a quarter of his health will be gone you need like a three or four multi-hit skill that does a lot of damage to be able to kill him not to mention that he gets immunity and the defense buff so you can't really defense break him really really good frontline tank all three of these golems are really good and you prioritize the same stats on all three but i'll repeat slot two four six defense then prioritize evasion and then accuracy and HP. That's it for today's video. I hope this helps you pick what golem you want to build and how to build it correctly. If you like my videos and like my content, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!